Like, well, what do you have tomorrow? Labyrinths and, and shoes. And, and I was like, well, I was like, I have the 200 fly. And, <laughs> and uh, I was like, I thought I was going to go back into retirement after my, uh, go back into retirement after my morning uh, 200 free. I was like, so we'll see how the 200 fly goes tomorrow morning and see see where my mental my mental uh, game is at at that point. The 200 butterfly is magical, sacred, beautiful. Perhaps the best race ever invented. And it's the most painful. Phelps 200 butterfly in Charlotte was trash. Dog meat. A brutal low in the water, soul wrenching display of pain. He went 2 0, which is probably the most positive sign that he's on track for the 2016 Olympic Games. Listen here to what he says about his last 200 butterfly at the London Olympics. I got, I got, I got cavicked. <laughs> um, I would have liked to have finished that. That part of my career, I guess now I can say, with going almost 10 years without being unbeaten in that race. Um, so the first loss here and the second loss, I got beat by him again, by Wu again in uh, Michigan and then um, by Chad at the Olympics. Um, and that was just a poor end of my, my 200 fly career in my opinion, but I set myself up for it, you know. So. Uh, I can honestly say I've probably done more 200 fly training in the last six to eight months than I've done in the last uh, eight years, seven years. Did you hear that? The most 200 butterfly training he's done since the Beijing Olympics. That's a reveal and confirms everything we're hearing. Phelps is doing the work, but why now? And how is this different from the lead up to the 2012 Olympics? For so many times going into the last Olympics, I wanted to do everything that, that wasn't painful, that, that felt good. And, and, you know, for me the whole entire time leading up to 2008, it was just about putting my body through pain so I was, I was ready to experience anything that came my way. And, you know, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it the right way. Will it be challenging? Will it hurt like hell? Of course it will. <laughs> That's the mindset of a swimmer preparing to race 200 Butterfly. Since his comeback, he's been adamant that he won't race it. Is he gonna race this event? I don't know if I want to give you my exact answer what I want to say. <laughs> Is Michael Phelps mulling over racing the 200 Butterfly in Rio? Uh, it's interesting watching this, watching the, the world in this event. Mm -hmm. If you look at what Mao Chow won in 2000, mm -hmm. still what everybody's going nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like, it's really not that fast of an event. Um, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it, we would always do a thing where we would count how many times Mal Chow had gone 155. <laughs> and it was something like, like before I did, and it was something like 25 times he had been 155, you know? So it's like, there, there aren't many people in the world that have broken 155, and it, it is strange. Because for so long, you know, from 2000 until 2012, we were 152, Ish, 153 and it's like you know it, who knows I mean I you know for me to ever want to really compete at that race I, I would have to be I would make sure that I was in the best shape possible mm. uh, and and I know what it has to do like, like I, I know what I have to do to be able to get there and I don't know if I'm ready to do that right now this is a key chapter in the Phelps narrative heading into Rio it sounds like 200 butterfly is at least on the table the event is weak among the world's talent that's potentially another medal for Phelps, no matter what the color. Yes, Phelps wants to win it. But the 2016 Olympic Games, it's all about medal count for Phelps. Him pushing the count into the stratosphere. I think that will be the story of Rio. And I think he'll finish his career with 27 medals. What do you think? You know, I think one of the coolest things that, that I even told, you know, 
told his coach last summer was, you know, it was kind of interesting watching him making a transition to swimming long course. Um, you find a lot of college swimmers who are really good yard swimmers, and they don't always transition well to long course. And, and you know, Tom and I shared the American record and uh, in, in the 200 fly for, for a while, and, and you know, it's it, it, it always is hard because to me, I've been able to learn that swimming a long course 200 fly takes a different stroke. And watching him swim his 200 fly last summer shows me that he's been putting in time and energy to change that stroke, to work on getting distance per stroke. Um, and, I, and I told that to Tom uh, as, as well after, uh, after the 100 last year. Um, and obviously he has speed. Cal, Cal guys usually have pretty good speed, so um, his stroke's gotten a lot better, and, and yeah, it's just, you can tell he, he, he wants to improve. So it's, it's, it's always good racing somebody who's hungry like that.